this particular project relates well to our NeurArm project, which is an image-guided robot that we use for nerve surgery. And this is the what's called the bipolar forceps that is um, attached to the end effector of NeurArm, which we use to conduct surgery. The bipolar forcep includes a, a haptic interface, at least as it relates to X, Y, and Z uh, directions. Here in the lab, we have reconstructed the bipolar forceps, including the method by which the bipolar uh, actuates. The importance of this, though, it relates to the force sensor, so that surgeons can feel the forces of tool-tissue interaction. That is very important, as that is the process that takes the longest time to master as a young surgeon i.e. what forces that could be applied to tissue, such as the brain, would result in puncture of the cortical surface. So in the laboratory, we've set up a bipolar forcep that includes a force sensor uh, connected to this uh, Q-Cub robot and a uh, hand controller to measure the forces by which the tool would puncture assimilated uh, tissue. Uh, this, this is interesting as the surgeon can actually feel the pressure by which force is generated that punctures um, this silicon wrapper. And that is very similar to what a surgeon might experience in the operating room. Even with force feedback, it can be difficult for teleoperators to gauge how much force they are applying with the slave's tooltip. Excessive force can lead to tissue damage in a surgical setting, so we've implemented a notification system that warns teleoperators when applied forces exceed a predetermined threshold. These preliminary experiments use a compliant synthetic membrane fitted over square tubing to simulate an air-filled cavity. This part of the project is wonderful as it illustrates how, how we can have an audio or a tactile feedback coming to the surgeon as they reach pressures that would penetrate the tissue. That would be uh, such a wonderful tool during the performance of surgery in avoiding uh, surgical mishaps. The slave robot, Akuka KR6, holds a custom tool coupled with a six degree of freedom force torque sensor. Force information from tooltip interactions with the synthetic membrane is sent to the teleoperator via a Phantom Premium 3.0 haptic interface. The haptic interface's velocity is transmitted to the slave. The teleoperator views a real-time 3D video feed of the interaction from a medical-grade microscope. Trials are randomly generated to either include a notification during interaction or not, both with and without force feedback from the haptic interface. Notifications are sent either to an external speaker or to a wrist-mounted haptuator that provides vibrotactile feedback, or to both. Preliminary results indicate that notifications via any feedback modality decrease the amount of force applied by a teleoperator. <laughs>